Hello, welcome to the Gadget Tube News. This week we're looking at MacBooks, 120 inch 5K TVs, and screens that are just for visually impaired people. Stick around. Apple has released some minor updates to their 13 and 15 inch Retina MacBooks, as well as slightly dropping the price of the higher tier 15 inch model. So the new 13 inch version has now had an update to an i5 processor that runs at 2.6 GHz in the lower end models and 2.8 GHz in the even pricier models. Originally the 13 inch MacBook came with 4 GB RAM which has now been boosted up to 8 GB and the 15 inch model came with 8 GB which now has been boosted up to 16 GB. The 15 inch lineup now come with a 2.2 GHz i7 with turbo boost up to 3.4 GHz. Apple also dropped the price of their non-retina MacBooks but no one really cares. The only updates are the speed boosts, so really if you're after a new designed MacBook, maybe wait off until the next update. Samsung and LG recently announced their new 105 inch 21 by 9 aspect ratio 5K displays were available for pre-order. 5K comes in at 5 120 by 2 160 pixels and with the lack of 5K let alone 4K content it's a good job both of these screens have upscaling options built in. The LG features a 7.2 150W Harman Kardon audio system as well as webOS for their smart TV side of things. Samsung's doesn't have that but it does have a man who will come round and install it and tell you how to use your TV. Now Samsung's TV is built for order and it only comes in at $120,000. Of course, if Samsung or LG wanted to send me one of these sets, I'd be more than willing to review it. Now do you or someone you know have issues when trying to read things close up? Well this might be an interesting breakthrough for you. The University of California at Berkeley and MIT have created a new device that allows people with vision problems to see their device without spectacles or contact lenses. Right, time for a geeky bit. The screen features a matrix of pinholes that are only 75 microns wide. Uh, basically, right, it's a screen that has loads of holes in for each individual pixel and it can control the intensity and the direction of the light. For more information, check out the link in the description for the full video. Thanks for watching. If there's any type of stories that you'd like to see in this kind of news show, then please do leave a comment telling me what you'd like to see. Feel free to like as well and of course subscribe. It could be a wall socket, it could be a computer or even a TV USB socket and it all goes down to this, a 3.5mm jack. Now you could use this jack with a small speaker.